Congratulations. Minister Bell, can you open us up with prayer this evening? Oh, absolutely, Pastor. Absolutely. Dear gracious and eternal Father, we thank you so much for this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for me a week, Philip, dear Heavenly Father. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, what you're for what you're going to do on tonight. We thank you for what you've already done in our lives, dear Heavenly Father. Now let this word, dear Heavenly Father, come in and wreck shop. Let it just deliver, heal. Let it set people free. Let it do as, as you please on tonight, dear Lord. We thank you and we praise you for taking us through another week uh, on another journey with you, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you and we pray that you will refill our pastor as he, as he just restore and restore him as he pours out dear heavenly father in the name of jesus we pray amen amen, amen. amen. now come on let's put those hands together tonight I love you, baby. come on bless him. he is worthy to be praised come on yes, he is. to the going down of the same his name is to be praised can y'all hear, hear me pretty good can y'all hear me pretty good mm -hmm. i'm yes. on my eye I'm on my iPad tonight. Just want to make sure that you can hear me good. Oh, wow. We thought you had an Android pad. No. <laughs> Let's pray again. Let's pray one more time. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. God, thank you. Thank you, Father God. Come on. We're going to go right. Today is the eighth day of uh, February already. So we're going to go to Psalm 8. Uh, we're going to look at two verses, verses 3 and 4. I'm going to read them into your hearing. And we're going to see what the Lord has to say tonight. Are we ready for a word tonight? Yes, Amen. Amen. Psalm 8, Amen. verses 3 and 4. Do we have something to write with tonight? Everybody good? Got something to write with? Okay. All right. Here we go. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human mm -hmm. beings that you care for them. You have made them a, a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. Mm -hmm. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. feet. Ah, I like that right there. I need to read that one more time. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. Feet. Family, for tonight, I just want to title this. If I could title this tonight, I want to title this Level Up in God. Mm. Level Up in God. I could really say it's time to level up in God. Um, Sierra, now I don't I don't really uh suggest you go and listen to this song, but Sierra has a song <laughs> and it's called Level Up. And she one of the verses in there says, I just keep elevating, no losses just upgrading. My lessons, my bless, made blessings, I turned that into money. Thank God I never settled. This view is much better. I'm chilling, I'm willing, I'm winning like no other. That's what Sierra said. I, I thought about that and I said, this is the season for us to level up in uh -huh. Christ. Because leveling up is a term that means to make a move in life or career for the better. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact, we are at the point in our life in 2023 that we're ready to make some moves to make our life better, not just for mm -hmm. us, but for our family and for our future. Come on, y'all. Yes. The, the, the psalmist here, the psalmist here tonight proclaims God is one who is able to build up people of weakness as a force to oppose his enemies. And I thank God that when he allows us to level up in him, that we're able to go to different levels. Yes. Come on. I think I need to say that again. When we're able to level up in God, that means God is ready to take us to new levels. And I'm just wondering, am I in the right, am I on the right platform tonight? Is anyone ready to be to level up in God and go to new levels? Come on. I'm talking about faith to faith and from to glory to glory. And here in the text, David himself is leveling up as he reflects on the power and the promise of God. And I want to just throw out three things that I promise we're going to pray and we're going to get out of here. The first thing that J David shows us is that we need to level up in God's majesty. Mm. Write that down. Level up in God's majesty. 
Um, he said right there in, in uh, verse uh, three, he says, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, majesty is the glory of God. Write that down. Majesty is the glory of God. And when we want to level up in God, we are saying, God, I want more of your glory. Yes, yes. God, I want to read reflect on your glory mm -hmm. because with all the craziness in this world we tend to overlook God's perfect creation in the world mm. I need to say that again with all the craziness and foolishness that's going on in the world today we mm -hmm. need to sometimes we will overlook God's perfection and his creation of the world you know as we still look at this world even with all the drama I can't help but think about how God created this yeah how God created that, how God put the moon in the sky, how God put allowed the moon to turn into the sun in the day. Come on, I can't help but to look at the water. When I go to, um, when we go to Florida, how I look at the ocean and how I look as far as you can see and you don't see nothing but water. See, the world will cause us to not overlook God's creation. But David is saying it's time for us to reflect over God's creation and over his glory. Because wow. God put everything in a particular place for a particular purpose. Wow. And he created everything with purpose. Ah, that's why I read this morning. I thought about that in Psalms 103. I said, forget not his benefits. Praise the Lord and forget not his benefits. Because if the enemy has his way, he will cause us to forget all the good that God has done in our life. Sometimes we tend to worry about the bad, but I've learned, my grandmother said, if we look back over our lives and think things over, the good outweighs the bad, so I won't complain. See, if we ever look around and just look at all the glory that God has over our lives, we can't help but give God praise. And I just wonder right quick right now, can we just take a pause even right now? And just thank God for the roof that's over your head right now. And we thank God for the chair, for the sofa, the bed to sit in right now. We thank God for the lights that you got on in your house right now. We tend to forget sometimes that we still, God has still been good to us. In spite of some of the things that we may go through, in spite of some of the trials we may face, God is so good to us. Yes, he is. Everyone and everything that God has created, he's given it a purpose. Mm -hmm. But the enemy has allowed us to turn what God intended for his glory to end up seeming like a burden. Yeah. But I've learned in life that God didn't intend for what he created to be a burden in our lives. Amen. Matter of fact, we look at Genesis, God created the work. He On the first day, God created light from darkness. Come on. Morning from evening. On the second day, he separated the water from the sky. Yes, On the third yes, day, yes. he created the water, the trees, and the vegetation. On the fourth day, he created the sun and the yes. stars, which give oh, us yes. our seasons around the around the season of the of the world, the mm -hmm. season of the days. And on the sixth day, he created livestock and animals and even get, decided to make mankind in the image of his likeness. I love this. And even on the fifth day, I, I skipped that one. He created the birds of the sky and the fish of yeah, the water. Yeah. See, when we think about God's glory, we can't help but give God praise Amen. because God created all of this for oh, you and I. Oh, but then yes. watch this. On the seventh day, yeah. God says, I got to take my rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the reason God did that was because there he's, he's telling us, that there are moments when we need to take our rest. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Because yes. I've learned in life, life, there's a season where we must understand that mm -hmm. rest is of God. Mm -hmm. Rest is of God. Matter of fact, I've, I've learned that that's a ministry mm -hmm. of my mm -hmm. own right there. Mm -hmm. I got a ministry of self-care because if you don't take care of self, mm -hmm. then you're not yeah. going to handle what's going to come your way. Because self right. is important. You got to take right. care of self. That's right. When you're resting, you are also reset. Somebody need to put that in the chat. Whenever you rest, 
That means you are resetting. And then if you don't decide to rest on your own, God says he will lay you down in great yeah. pastures. All Come day, on. every day. God All day, every day. He will cause you to rest. You don't know how to call a time out on your own. And I've learned this because one day I went to my ice maker on the refrigerator and I pushed my cup up against the ice maker and nothing came out. And I got a little frustrated, but I opened up the door and I looked on the door and there was no ice in the ice maker. And what that told me at that time, God spoke to me right then and there. He says, there's no ice in there. So you got to shut the door and allow the ice to recreate and, and mm -hmm. the ice maker to make new ice. What are you saying, Pat? I'm saying there is a season in our life yeah. when we need to sit down and allow God to regenerate us, to re to restore us, mm -hmm. and give us what we need to replenish us. Thank and you. that way we can run on in God. And I've learned that in order to run on in God, you got to allow him to restore you because you can't pour from an empty cup. Thank you. That's right. You cannot pour from an empty yeah. cup. You don't think that you can fix everybody's problem. Don't think I'm that sure. everybody call you and try to ask you what should I, sometimes you need to just let the phone go to voicemail because yeah. you need your rest just as well as yeah. they need yeah. Yeah. You need right. to understand <laughs> that you can pour if there's yeah. nothing left to pour. Yeah. There's a time where you need to refill. That's what I'm going to call tonight. That's why we love meeting on Wednesday night, because I need a refill. Somebody said, I need a refill. Need a refill. Yeah. David has a moment of reflection of how great and amazing God's work is. He says, when I consider what you have done and what you're capable of doing, it puts things in perspective. Mm. Can I tell you, life is all about perspective. It's all about perspective, perspective view anyway. Because what seems like a burden, I just said it, God can really turn it around to be a blessing yes. for you. Yes. Because the caterpillar helped me. Perspective is everything. What the caterpillar calls his tomb, the butterfly calls his, calls his womb. Yes. Whatever you're dealing with today, trust me, God is birthing you for your tomorrow's next level blessing. What am I saying, Pastor? I'm saying it's time to level up. Somebody need to put that in the chat. It's time to level up. Watch this, David says, when I consider your heavens and the work of your fingers. The Bible says the work of your fingers. What are you talking about, David? In the midst of chaos and the crisis of this world, we must never forget that the same God that put everything in order mm -hmm. is the same God that can put what's out of order back in order. Mm -hmm. The same God that put everything, the stars, yes, yes. The, the moon, the, the sun in order, he's the same God when things get out of order that can put oh, stuff yeah. back in order. I'm talking to somebody you, right Lord. now. You seem like your life is upside down, but I serve a God that can turn it right back, right side up yes, tonight. Lord. If yes, you believe he can do it, all you got to say is, God, I need you right now. Yes. Somebody ought to say that right now. Because what they need right is now. God says, I'm about to turn it around in your favor, but you got to believe it in order to receive it. In order to receive it. That's right. That's and David it. said, not only is it time to level up in God's majesty, watch David this, it. but it's also time to level up in God's sovereignty. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? I love that right there because sovereignty means Lord over all creation. Um, because when you think about how God created everything, how he put the stars, the moons, the water, and the fish in the sea, and how he, he made trees for vegetation, for fruit. He did all of that with us in mind. Yes, mm. yes. He had us in his in, on his mind. And in the grand scheme of everything, God's creation is all about you and I. Mm. Yeah. Now, now, when I talk about what love got to do with it, that's love right there. <laughs> because before you were even born, yes, yes. God had you on his mind. Before you even made the mistake that you ever that you made, not the one mistake, but all the mistakes yeah, I made, yeah, he still yeah. had me on his mind. So when mm. I reflect on God's work, when I reflect on God's on my career, when I reflect on my business, family, faith. It's all obvious that God had all of that on his mind, but he gave us these things for a purpose and a purpose that was, which was in his mind. And that purpose is for kingdom work. Somebody say kingdom work. Kingdom, kingdom work. work. Kingdom work. 
because we never want to lose sight of the big picture because everything we have, God gave it to us. Yes, everything we know, God taught us. Oh, yeah. Everything that we, we purchased, God was able to give us the income to do it. That, that's mm -hmm. why the enemy says, I don't mind you having that title, but I just don't want you to share your testimony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't mind you having the money. I just don't want you to serve in ministry. Mm. That's what the enemy is saying, because he don't mind you having all these things, but he don't want you to advance the kingdom with the things yeah. that God has blessed you with. Yeah. And I come by to serve the devil notice. Every time God allows me to go to the next level, I end up being a blessing to even more people than I'm able to be. Because God said you're blessed to be a blessing. Amen. But, but here's the thing. Yeah. The, enemy, the enemy doesn't want you or I to walk in our purpose. And nor does he want us to walk in our power. What he will do, he will bring distractions. Oh, my God. Because distractions is nothing new. Because when you really think about it, distractions are there to try to deter us from our destiny. Mm -hmm. Distractions are there to try to block us from our blessings. Mm -hmm. And the thing mm -hmm. is, you remember what happened in the, in the Garden of Eden. We know that story with Adam and Eve. Because when Adam, when God told Adam, do not eat of this tree because you will surely die. Mm -hmm. Eve was caught by the tree and the snake slid up next to Eve and started whispering in her ear. And he began to tell her that you will surely not die if you eat of this tree. Matter of fact, if you eat of this tree, you will be equal to God. Can I just stop and pause right now? Because the mm -hmm. enemy, the same snake that was back yeah. in Genesis is the <laughs> same that is trying to slide up against people right. that is trying to slide and whisper in your Ooh. ear and trying to tell you that what God told you is not true. I Ooh, you my, better preach, he's Pastor. He's not a man that can lie, nor he's a mm -hmm. son. You better I've preach. That God, when God mm. said it, he, that settles it. That's why it's time mm. to that's why it's time to level up because these snakes that's trying to come around yeah. these days, you got to understand like Paul understood in Acts 27, when that viper bit his hand, when that snake bit his hand, Paul didn't, he didn't cry, Paul didn't panic, but Paul did, he shook it off. Yes. And I come by to let somebody know tonight when the snake comes up against you and even try to bite you or try to do anything against you, it's time to shake it off. Can somebody just shake off whatever's trying to hinder you? Shake off the distraction that's trying to keep you from your destiny. Shake off the, 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 the words that's trying to keep you from the word. I need to let you know that God is able to do it. Abundantly, abundantly above all we can think, ask, or imagine. Somebody needs to say it. Shake it off. 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 We shouldn't get. We shouldn't get it twisted mm. because this is where this is what the, the snake is trying to do. He's trying to get us to to lean on the world's popularity to keep us from growing in the Word of God. Because, you know, nowadays, the word is not popular to people. Church is not popular as it was when we were growing up. You know, now everybody finds other things to be that, that's called, it's popping now. But yeah. I've learned, I'm going to continue to level up in God. You can level up in the things of the world all you want. But I'm leveling up in the th things of the word. Because I've learned that the word is what kept me. The word is what kept my mind. The word is what healed my body. The word is what kept my family together. So it wasn't the world because this world that we live in is not what we are to supposed to, to stay in. We are here for a temporary time. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this word, because now it's time for us to level up in God's majesty and level up in God's sovereignty. But then last mm -hmm. and not least, it's time to level up with your God-given authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think you heard me. I said it's time to level up in God's majesty. It's time to level up with God's sovereignty. But now it's time for yeah. us to level up in the, yes, in the yes. authority that God has given yes. us. Watch this mm -hmm. in verse 5 and 6. He says, you made, you made them. Mm -hmm. Can I change that to the BIV, the Bobby International Version? Can I say you have made us a little lower than the angels and crowned us mm -hmm. with, with glory and honor? Watch this. You made us rulers of the works of your hands. You put everything under 
our feet. Yeah, uh, yeah. I said it Sunday, y'all. When we yeah. read the scriptures, we got to put our name in it. Thank we got to make it personal for us. When I said on Sunday, I said John 3, 16, for God so loved Bobby that he gave his only begotten yeah. son that who mm -hmm. Bobby believes in shall not perish. Yeah. But everlasting life. You can make it your own personal testimony when you put your name in it. So this is what he's saying right here. He says, I chose to crown you with yes. glory and honor. Now that's just a God that loves you in spite of what you've done, in spite of where you've been. God says, I love you and I want to crown you with glory and honor. And then he says, I want to give you authority. God is telling me to tell somebody tonight on this call that it's time to level up. What do you mean level up? You keep saying that, Pastor. It's time to go to, to new levels in God. It's time to go from faith to faith mm -hmm. and glory to glory because God mm -hmm. is giving you the authority to, to, to do it. God says you're created to win. Yeah. You're, not the, yeah. you're not the tail. You're the head. Yeah. You're not beneath. You're above. You're no longer the borrower. You're the lender. Thank and you, I come Lord. by to let you know he Thank says you, he's going to put it all under your feet. Yeah. What am I talking about? I'm talking about everything that was over your head is now about to be under your feet. Thank Sometimes you. I know sickness looks like it was above Ooh. But the sickness is about to be below you. I know the financial hardship seems like it's all above you. But God says, I'm about to put it under your feet. I need somebody just to step on the floor where you're at right now and say, it's under my feet. That problem is under my feet. That is under my feet. And I've learned that you got to understand that if God be for you, he's more than the world against you. See, I learned this. My my, my mm -hmm. baby girl, my baby grandbaby, she's only one years old. And when she turned one years old, she wasn't even walking yet. So we were all kind of scratching our heads. You can put it up, Britt. We was all kind of scratching our heads. And we didn't understand why she wasn't walking. She was just crawling. And she would just jump on her knees while she was crawling. And I'm like, what is baby girl doing? Why is she not walking? And she would be just crawling. We would pick her up. She would like, yeah. cry so we pick her up. So I was wondering, when is she going to walk? Matter of fact, we were over there one day. And then the next day, Christy sent us a video of baby girl walking on her mm -hmm. own. Like she'd been walking for months. And why am I saying all that tonight? I'm saying that it wasn't in our time in when she was going to walk. Baby girl was crawling to walk. She didn't hold on to no tables and start walking. No, she stood up one day and just took off. Why am I saying that? Because there comes a time when we find ourselves crawling in life that we got a level of God. Come on. Come on. Moment, and we will go from crawling to standing up and walking. We will go from walking to running. Because this race is not given to the strong, nor the battle to the weak. This race is not given to the weak, nor the strong, but the battle to those that can endure. I come by the lead to know that God is able to do it. God can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can think, ask, or imagine according to the power that work is mm -hmm. in us. That's mm -hmm. the key there. Baby girl got tired of people carrying her. She said, you too long. And I come by to let you know, there was something in her that made her make up in her mind, I'm about to walk. Come on. I'm about to let you know that you got the power in you yeah. to get yeah. up out of what you in right oh, now yeah. and begin yeah. to walk out of it and yeah, begin yeah. to put it under your yeah, feet. Yeah. Because greater is he that in you than he that yeah. is in this world. Oh, and yeah. I love it because God said it's time to level up. Somebody put that in the chat. Somebody write that down. It is time to level up. Just yeah. like baby girl yeah, said, it's good. time to get get up. The just man fall is what? Seven yeah. times. But you mm -hmm. get back yeah. up. And I'm yeah. praying tonight that somebody who may have had a bad week or even had a bad start to this year, that you level up up and you get back up and you walk in that God authority that he has given you. I want to tell you right now you have the power to do what the naysayers say you can. You have the power to make the devil a liar because that devil is a liar. That devil is trying to tell you you can't do it. And my Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I need you to lift your hands right now 
and just begin to worship God. Begin to magnify your God. Begin to exalt your God. Because he who is set free is free indeed. I don't know what you stand in need of tonight, but we serve a God that's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, imagine. So this year, this year, this week, from tonight on, we're going to level up in God. Somebody say, I'm leveling up. I'm leveling up in God. We thank you, God, for your word. We thank you, God, that the word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. God, we thank you that your word is a comfort to our heart, a comfort to our situation. And Father, even on tonight, God, we pray that this word will go forth, God, and it will accomplish even what you have sent for it to accomplish. God, I believe eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered to the hearts of your people what you have in store for them. So God, we're going to level up in you. God, we thank you for your majesty. We thank you for your supreme power. We thank you for your sovereignty. God, we thank you that you created everything with us in your mind, on your mind, Father. And we pray that you continually give us that power to endure to endure this race that we're in, Father. We thank you, God, that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but to those that Endure, Father, I speak endurance into my brother, into my sister right now. They cannot quit. They cannot give in. They cannot give up. Matter of fact, it's time to level up and get up. Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that, God, you're giving them the strength to continue to run this race. God, you're giving them the strength to turn around their situation. Father, we know that you're able. So, Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for turning it around. God, what needs to be out of order, God, you are about to put it back in order. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's the job situation, God, whatever it is, we put it in your hand because you say, cast our cares upon you for you cares for us. So, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will give somebody the peace that surpasses all yes. understanding. We lift up Sister Sue, God. We pray right now that you comfort her and her family in the passing of her uncle, God. We pray that you continue to touch each and every one who is going through a season right now that needs comfort. We yes. pray in the name of Jesus that you will give somebody emotional stability right now that is going through a situation, God, that they seem like they don't know which way to turn. Father, we pray that you give them direction just as your word says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. We're going to trust you in this season. God, we trust in the Lord with all of our heart and we lean not to our own understanding, but we acknowledge you in all thy ways and you said that you will direct our paths. Father, we thank you for the direction you're giving. Father, I lift up all those who are going through a crisis in their life, Father, all those who are going through something in their relationship, something in their marriage, God, I pray that you mend hearts, God, that you mend minds right now in the name of Jesus, God. I pray that you come against anything that's trying to divide their family right now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you pour out your your spirit of unity, God, in that family, God. We thank you right now that they're going to come together on one accord, God, and they're going to look to the hills from which cometh their help. Their help comes from you, God. We thank you on this evening for the blessings that you're about to pour out on your people. So, God, we count it, we count it done in the name of Jesus oh, yes. tonight. We believe that victory is ours. And, Father, we thank you in advance for what you are about to do. In oh, yes, Name we pray. Now, if you mm -hmm. believe that prayer right now, I need you to bless God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I need you to bless God. Amen. Your body is healed. I need you to bless God on tonight. Come on, if you know that Thank God you, is able to do it, come on and Thank bless you. him in advance. Amen. On. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, it's time to Amen. level up in God.